Hey guys, it's Nate, aka The Foot Accountant. Welcome back to the channel. We thought we had an idea of what new promo was coming this Friday on FC24 and what new cards we were going to be getting until there was one massive leak yesterday that kind of changed all of that. Maybe you've seen that leak, but yes, we are indeed getting more path to glory live upgrading cards and that's a complete change of plans from what we thought was going to happen i still have a lot of questions though and how are these cards going to work since they're already upgraded a lot of the path to glories that we already have have already seen a lot of upgrades so i want to talk about that and is ea actually going to drop some xp for us today thursdays have been the best day for that we'll talk about that in more in today's video if you're excited for it drop a thumbs up subscribe if you're new let's start off by looking at that objective section because it was a wednesday right weekend league wednesday objectives we had ourselves the expected objective which was the brazil requirement everybody's got their brazil squads ready but how many people are actually going to use them with this mario gomez as the group reward finesse plus rapid plus and aerial plus as his playstyle pluses but in fact he only has three of them instead of four which a lot of people would have been hoping he would have gotten and sure germany have played decent during the euros the host nation but he's got to score four goals from now going forward none of the goals that germany have scored actually count for this card they have to score four more from their next game continuing on that's if they continue on right so it's a bit risky with a card like this as well and a lot of people are not feeling that that card is worth the 12 win grind to complete the entire objective now of course there are some nice packs in here i do have a little bit of a tip if you want to at least start it off with a brazil squad i think there's a good idea to get some packs from it but speaking of selling in the hype ggs if you did that because yet again these cards dropped off in value they were great to sell a couple hours a few hours before this objective dropped 434k was our marquinhos card he's kind of been our example through all this a lot of brazilian cards had this exact same movement yesterday they were high pre-content great time to sell the objective dropped it wasn't as good as people were hoping not as many people were going to use brazil teams or buying players and the panic selling ensued dropping from 400k plus down to 288 now this is a rare card look how much he's rebounded back up to 390k there is demand for this objective so if you want to trade with some brazilian cards over the weekend that is not a bad shout but i really think the best opportunity is get a brazil squad and play qualifiers play foot champs qualities with your brazilian squad if you play those first nine matches uh, or maybe even one game of the foot champs weekend league you will get yourself an 85 2 an 83 10 an 84 double and an 83 3 so for a lot of people qualifying for foot champs isn't a big problem but if you want to do that with the brazilian squad you can get yourself some extra packs which i think is the worth it thing to do from this objective just so you can get yourself some okay packs you might be grinding through that today since it is thursday a lot of people like to qualify on this day of the week now let's talk about spcs because we had the best piece of content released in this part of the game yesterday but it wasn't a player spc we'll talk about the player spcs first starting with lee zarazu only three playstyle pluses here as well what is it with the heroes having three playstyle pluses i think Actually, Carlos Tevez was the only hero that started with a base version of four playstyle pluses, right? Cordoba got the playstyle plus added on, but this uh, this Lisa Razu does not look that good. 4-4 four, four, high high for the price. I'm going to say that for the price, he doesn't look that amazing. He's got good playstyles for a left back. He's got the France links as well. Bundesliga, you know, links there too, but the price of 550k just doesn't cut it for the stats that he has on the card i think that's you know sure france could get some upgrades and that's the upside with this card they could score goals for sure but again it's tough at this stage of the tournament in the knockouts in the quarterfinals it's tough to get a lot of goals you have less chances to do that less games to do that and tougher opponents so just like mario gomez very difficult or more difficult for Lisa Razu to get those upgrades, which is why I think most people are probably not going to do this SBC, but it is there if you would like to craft it. If you're forming like a France team or you really want a Lisa Razu for nostalgia or emotional reasons, then that is there. And of course, it is live and upgrading. It's out for 13 days as well. So this could be an SBC that we come back to and say, wow, France cooked. This guy got some sick upgrades. He's now worth completing with the grind or whatever. So that's there. I don't think a ton of people are doing it right now, though. We also had a flashback. SBC for um, Abby Erseg. 
somebody I've not heard of before, just being completely honest. She does play in America, NWSL card. The stats are not the best. I mean, they're decent, but they're not that great, especially the pace. But hey, EA likes to drop these one-off flashback SBCs. So if that's interesting to you, it is only 76,000 coins for her card. Go ahead and do that. Now, the best SBC content yesterday was the best content on the game. And it was the guaranteed great to the game team two pack. Guys, they actually did it. Like, just take a step back and think. EA dropped a guaranteed icon slash hero upgrade pack for the current cards that are in packs. With how crazy this promo team in is, I can't believe that they actually did it. You've got two cards that are over... Uh, three cards actually that are 10 million coins or more that are packable from this now of course it's not very common to see dino r9 or cruyff or hullet from either of these packs here the one that was dropped yesterday or the one, this one as well um but like man this value of this sbc is crazy 84 squad 85 squad sure you need a team of the week or a team of the season but that's pretty easy right with the craft and menu grind 83 plus team of the week wow and honestly the weight i was expecting after i saw the price of this i was expecting the weight to be really bad and it wasn't we opened a bunch on stream yesterday i have a couple of notes we packed maldini three times charlton carlos roberto carlos and pirlo and a lot of the rest of the polls from those were like usable ones too like we saw zanetti a couple of times we had Cannavaro, desai um a lot of you know jobbies and jobbies right jobby alonzo plenty of ashley coles as well which isn't a terrible poll we saw a couple of torres he's 300,000 coins considering the price of this sbc is 115k like it was really a good SBC, one of the best upgrade packs, like a guaranteed upgrade pack that we have had. So that one was really nice for me, eh? honestly. It was kind of, it felt like a gift, to be honest. Now, I didn't pack anybody good from it, and I'm still saying all this because I saw so many people pack Ws from this SBC yesterday. It's just crazy for the value of what is potentially able to be packed from it. It is worth the craft. If you're on the fence, get the fodder saved up and get that thing done. Because you can tell people are doing this SBC, look at fodder. 83s are 1.2K, 84s are 2.2, 85s were above 4,000 and 88s are even like 11 and a half K people are opening a ton of packs for exchanges at the moment and then doing other SBCs like this one that dropped yesterday and maybe still the 93 plus that dropped on Tuesday. Good time to sell fodder in my opinion for sure ahead of this weekend because prices are up big especially with some nice spikes on the 88s yesterday now i do want to look at actually one part of the market that's down right wednesdays we have the refresh of the team of the week sbc and team of the weeks are down they're like 36 or 37 000 coins and i think people are going to start investing in these again because it seems like every single week team of the weeks go up like 5 to 10k per card just because the SBCs that we get and people need Team of the Week cards. I'm not a fan of investing in Team of the Weeks just because the Team of the Week SBC is there, especially this last week. It was more craftable than ever. And I think more people have them in their clubs. But if you want to invest in Team of the Weeks, they are down a decent amount from where they were previously in the week. So that is there. I know some people are doing that because we will probably still have upgrade SBCs that require those Team of the Weeks released in the next couple of days, like on Saturday, maybe in the next week as well, maybe even on Friday tomorrow with the new promo, I would expect some of that. So that's just one thing I wanted to mention, but I feel like fodder is probably a good sell heading into the weekend where there will be a Ronaldo, right? That's the main leak in packs. That's going to sell some packs. And I think that's going to make some of the fodder come down like it always does during the weekend anyway, especially on Friday nights. So that's my thoughts there. Let's take a look at the upgrades from yesterday real quick, because EA is a little bit late on these upgrades, but honestly, they did a awesome job with this Arda Gulet upgrade. He got plus two. I think it was plus two sprint speed, uh, which is nice. Like plus two and a pace stat is incredible. His card looks absolutely insane. Javi Simons' pace uh, looks... No, it was Javi Simons that got plus two sprint speed. That's who it was. He got a really nice upgrade as well. I mean, these cards look cracked, right? We absolutely love the upgrades they dropped yesterday. The VVD goes to 98. Hullet, Cruyff, Seedorf looks great. And Ride card with plus ones as well. And then there were actually a couple more upgrades for uh, the Copa America cards, including that Cordoba that we mentioned with four play style pluses. So those were the upgrades. No upgrades today. And you might be asking, Nate, did they forget Vandeven? And, you know, it's just inconsistency with how they upgrade these cards is the story with this Vandeman, guys. He has got two clean sheets because the Netherlands have kept two clean sheets. And by the way that EA upgraded Konate and Ferland Mendy, 
Neither of those two, especially Konate, I don't know about Ferland Nendi. Konate has not even seen the pitch for France during the Euros, and he got upgraded plus one overall because France kept two clean sheets. So in that same theory, Vandeven should have got upgraded as well, even though EA did say in some channels that the player had to play to get the clean sheet to count. So maybe they changed their mind midway through, and they did not upgrade Vandeven, but he is still a 94 and not a 95. That is a little bit frustrating. Now let's get on to what is coming on Friday tomorrow. As these greats of the game cards transition out of packs, let's talk about about these leaks and the path to glory cards that are coming back well the card design is coming back but the same players are not we are getting brand new path to glory players in this game and it all started with this leak right here with Cristiano Ronaldo this was like an hour after the video released yesterday on the channel, guys, the daily video released, and this Ronaldo was leaked. It was like, what is going on? This is not exactly what we had planned or what we thought was going to be next, right? We were thinking it was going to be that International Stars promo, something different to move us out of all of the live cards. Guys, think about it. We've had live cards, whether it's icons, these Path to Glories, or Make Your Marks, for a month now on this game. And we love live cards, but honestly, I think... I was looking forward to something a little bit different, but I guess EA said, nope, we're keeping going with the same exact live card promo aspect here with the Path to Glories coming back. I guess they released the first team of the icons, then they released the second team. I guess they're going to release the second team of the Path to Glory to follow suit. And this is a big man to lead the promo team. Cristiano Ronaldo, I do have a few questions which I want to talk about, but first, let's take a look at some of the other leaks. Ronaldo was the first one, the biggest name, the headliner of this promo. He is definitely going to get some people to open packs that's for sure some other big names representing the big nations that are still in the knockouts of these tournaments we've got Kamavinga for France that's a really big one there that card's going to be cracked his team of the season card was really hyped his tots moments it was really good this one's going to be hyped as well Leroy Sané is getting a card and he's representing Germany of course the upgrades here are really interesting to think about too because if a team loses straight away there's no more upgrades for them. We'll talk about that regarding the upgrades. Lissandro Martinez is getting a card for Argentina. That's going to be a very hyped one as well. And uh, that's a card, I think, I don't know. When was the last time that he had a special card? I can't think of a special Lissandro Martinez from earlier this year. I keep thinking back to the World Cup card, Phenoms or whatever, that he had last year in FIFA 23. But I don't even know if he's had one this year. That's kind of crazy, actually. Maybe he has and I've missed it. But that's a card a lot of people will be very, very excited to use. And the really interesting thing about this promo is we went from having one leaked card yesterday. Actually, we went from not knowing what promo we were going to get, really, just guessing, to having one leaked card to having a whole freaking list of players. Now, I do want to say we're going to take this leak right here with a pinch of salt because Donk is not somebody who we usually see leaking cards on Twitter, on X. But some of the other guys who've been posting these leaks like ASY for Trader, Foot Sheriff, kind of our usual leaker accounts. They have tweeted a lot of these cer certain names and they've been backing up these leaks. So we will take these with a pinch of salt, but a lot of them are probably true. Let's look through some of the names like Ronaldo, Jota, Nunez, Kamavinga, Taram, Griezmann, Watkins for England, Stones, Gallagher, Havertz. A lot of people are excited about for this Havertz card, right? Havertz has had two player SBCs this year. Both were absolutely insane cards. Can he go three for three? I don't know if he's going to be an SBC, but three, th three for three for insane cards would be awesome. There's the Sané. For the Netherlands, we have Weghorst and Delict. For Brazil, we have Wendell and Douglas Luiz. For Spain, we have Navas and Ferran Torres. And then we have Zakaria Akanji. Gonzalez and of course uh, the Martinez card for Argentina and then a couple other names here like Pelestri, Jimenez and then Shalhanoglu that might be an interesting card too as he had a really good fantasy FC item earlier on this year this is a big list of players 100% a pretty massive list and it kind of you know the PTG promo was a pretty massive list of players as well you had a lot of guys in packs of course a lot of nations to represent but now we're into the knockouts, right? It's the PTG knockouts. That's the whole part of this. Actually, the pack code yesterday even gave us some more detail into that because they started adding some of the store packs in that we're going to be seeing this weekend as these cards come into packs, like the knockouts duo guaranteed pack in 86 plus times 25. That's 25 walkouts in one pack. Four of them guaranteed to be 88 or higher with two, and you see this here, two guaranteed path to glory, the knockouts, 
player items with one guaranteed to be 95 or higher. There's even another one in here that mentions Path to Glory, the knockout. So I guess that is what this Path to Glory promo is featuring, and that is what it is all about, of course, because we're in that stage of the tournament. It is all about the knockouts. And even as I look at the card design here inside of the game right now, usually it's right beside the make your mark, right? Inside of the market search. But right now, it's under special item and it's labeled differently, which makes me wonder, is there going to be some sort of different Path to Glory card dropped today as, as like a different design? Or is it going to be the exact same design with a different name? I'm really confused, but there's something happening behind the scenes in this game in the back end of the code to make this name change. Here's some of the questions I have with this promo though, because with these Path to Glory cards, all of them have been live since a certain date. If you click into the cards, right, we talked about this with the icons as well. Every single Path to Glory item on this game says that they are based on the upgrades in the form of their nation on the relevant tournament starting on June 14th, which was the beginning of the Euros and the beginning of Copa America, before Copa America started even. So that's when all these Path to Glory cards have been live from. And some of these players have already gotten upgrades, plus ones for winning a game and plus one playstyle pluses for winning three three games, I honestly think that EA is going to have to keep the same upgrade pattern and the same upgrade path with the path to glories for the knockout cards as they are with the current cards that have been released already, which is why I think some of these players are going to be released with three playstyle pluses and some of them released with four, but we don't know that for sure. This is just my guess. I'm really curious on how they're going to do the upgrades, but this is my guess. Ronaldo's going to drop with four playstyle pluses because Portugal just got their third win. And, you know, if you think about it, they're in the quarterfinals right now. So he's got the potential to go plus one overall higher for winning the quarterfinal. He could go plus one overall or five, five for winning the semifinal and then a plus one for winning the final. And if they're dropping a 97 Ronaldo today, then that would take him to a 99 five-star, five-star card if Portugal would win the Euros. So I think that Ronaldo is going to drop with that playstyle plus retroactively added because the first three wins for Portugal counting towards his card. But that also means that cards like Kamavinga and Griezmann, since France have only won two games so far in the Euros, they're probably only going to have three playstyle pluses. That's the real question that I have here. There's not going to be a lot of hype for some of these cards if they only drop with three playstyle pluses. They won't be seen as that meta if EA do the upgrade the exact same. But if they don't do them the exact same, then what are the upgrades going to be? That's another whole upgrade path they have to try to plan out and think of. So that's my biggest question. How will these cards get upgraded? And will they have retroactively fitted upgrades? And that's going to make for some interesting, you know, stat combinations and also the ratings of the cards that are going to be dropped. My second question is, will these be packable? Because team one of this promo was actually pretty packable. Remember how, remember how cheap these cards were when they first dropped? I'm sure, right? You remember a lot of people were investing in these cards and the prices went up a bunch. Now they've come down a lot with the icons crashing the market like we talked about yesterday. But I still believe these PTG cards in team two dropping tomorrow should have decent pack weight, which is exciting. But here's my other reservation with this. Uh, there's no way that this promo, yeah, sure, a lot of players, a lot of really cool ones in there. The Ronaldo, the Kamavinga, the Griezmann, right? Watkins, Stones, Gallagher, Sané, Weghorst. Like, Weghorst is going to be a crazy card. That'll be mad fun. Wendell, Ferran Torres, a lot of big names in here that will be exciting, but there's no way it can live up to the hype of this promo that we have just witnessed with all of the icons in packs right now and the packability of these. So I think right now, if you have packs still, I would be ripping packs. If you're gonna save any packs, maybe you just save a couple that you maybe get today, maybe a Rivals Rewards pack or two, but I think what is in packs right now is going to be superior pack weight wise, upgrade wise, and even statistically to some of the new cards that come out, even in terms of the hype of what is going to be coming out with the new PTG cards, I would keep ripping packs. We're also going to have the 85 fives that we'll be able to do on Friday for the new promo to open three of those for the new cards as well. So I'm going to rip this 87 two real quick. Uh, we, knew, we don't get any specials there. I was hoping that we would on the video, but yeah, I don't think I would save packs. Wow. That was really bad. Two 87s. My goodness. So I'm going to keep ripping packs going through the crafting upgrade objective. Um, and, and all that because I think the icons right now when do you have the chance to pack Dino, R9, Hullet, Cruyff, Zidane and Henri and Maldini and Vieira like all those insane names at the same time I think it's got to be something that you keep ripping packs for maybe save a few if you want and then like I've already alluded to for some of these cards that have games especially right away 
there's potential that players could get knocked out as a country gets knocked out of the tournament uh, like right away. Right after the promo drops, uh, there's going to be a couple of these games that happen for the knockouts, for the quarterfinals of the Euro. And then, of course, we got games uh, happening for Copa America 2 today. That might even remove some of the teams from the competition since it's the knockout rounds. And some of these cards will be dropped without getting any more upgrades or they will be rendered useless, you could say, with no more upgrades right after they get released that's going to make for some really interesting market conditions some cards are probably going to get released at a certain price they'll be on the market and if they lose right away they're going to absolutely tank because no more upgrades means not a lot of hype especially for live cards like this so that also makes me curious should we invest in some icons because these cards are going out of packs and they have some hype right especially the ones that could potentially be getting upgrades you've already seen some cards start to rise up this zanetti was one yesterday we talked about on stream i was like guys 170k i don't think he's going to get too much lower than this he started going up you can see people have started investing he's 193,000 coins i think people are seeing the leaked promo team with the players in it and yes there are some good ones but it's not as hype overall as the icons for sure so people are starting to invest if you want to invest I think there's going to be some opportunities to make coins. You just got to pick the right icon. And I wouldn't hold for too longer, too much longer than like a week or two. Because once we get towards the end of the Euros and the Copa America hype, the closer that we get to footies, I think some of these cards are going to drop when we get to footies with new icons and a whole new kind of door open to the summer content on this game. I would imagine that some of these don't maintain their prices for too long after the Euros and Copa America end. So that's just one thing I wanted to mention. I know we talked about that a lot yesterday, though. So watch the icon prices as we head into this weekend for sure. So that's the leaks, guys. I think we'll get more leaks today, and I think we'll probably get some more news on what cards are in, plus how this is going to look with upgrades. And that's, again, my biggest question We'll just have to see. But I do expect the icons to be more hype. So I'm still ripping packs. I'm not saving anything right now. I'm still going through the crafting grind, 85 fives, everything that I can get. I am ripping at the moment. Now let's talk about content today on Thursday, last day of the grades of the game team two promo. We've got to get some XP. All right. But Thursdays have been the days EA dropped the XP in a couple different ways, right? They like these throwback objectives. You know, on Thursdays as well, they dropped the mixed nation objectives and the cup right and just to speak on xp for a little bit of a second it's the last week of this uh season right we have literally seven days left to get as much xp as we possibly can i'm on the doorstep of level 30 i'm sure a lot of you guys are right in this realm as well maybe even a little behind this i think ea should drop more xp this week usually towards the end of the season they're doing more double xp and extra stuff to get you to catch up if you've been a little bit behind but this season i wonder since they haven't dropped anything like that already are they actually not going to do any of that? Because the players here at the end with Pushkas and Cruz and Gerard are so good. Are they really not going to drop that much XP? Because if people don't get to the end here, they're going to be like, okay, that's fine. These cards we're giving out are so good. We don't want everybody to have them. That's kind of the thought process I'm thinking of. But also at the end uh, of the year, like we are now, we're in the summertime. It's July. This game is on the downslope, heading towards its end. So, sure, it's funny and it's silly season time right on this game. But still, uh, I think EA are kind of holding back the XP because these cards are so good. I hope, though, today, with the objectives that they release, which we will get some XP for sure, I hope it's like boosted, maybe 800 for some of these instead of 400 XP, double XP, especially for the cup and stuff like that. That would be super nice. So those are just my thoughts there. Watch this space, the seasonal tab, the live tab, the milestones tab today for XP. Now, I mentioned the cup. We're probably getting another cup today for the last week of this season, I would not be surprised if we had one last One Nation Frenzy because we've had one every single week thus far inside of the season. What is it, a 94 rated squad that you have to use all the same nation of players. We've had Italy, Spain, Germany, and England. So I guess Netherlands, France, Portugal, those are all options because they have not featured yet and they've been sticking with the Euros nations. So look at your club. If you need somebody from those nations, right away when this uh, objective drops today, I would go to the market, maybe pick one or two guys up because as always there's going to be prices that go up if it's like let's say the netherlands you'll have some cards go up if it's france there might not be as many cards that move just because there's a lot of france players in this game but i will always say check the special cards from that nation today when they drop the cup and also the gold cards guys gold kiesa for that cup specifically 
has like gone crazy in price and he still is like nine to 10,000 coins, right? That's an Italian card that is still really, really expensive. Yeah, look, he's almost extinct. Gold Chiesa, there's barely any on the market because people are still using this card because of the cup and there's not a lot of Italian specials or even golds that people want to use. So watch out for that today, but hopefully some good XP boost that we see there. Now, speaking of SBCs, we do have one last player that we haven't seen yet from the leaks and that is Mascherano. So I'd expect a Mascherano SBC today. Again, one last day to be grinding. The crafting upgrade, if you're trying to get it done, I've got 34 to go. Uh, one of the last days as well. Second to last day for the 85 times five. I don't think there's any SBCs that are expiring today per se. Um, at least any big ones, but it's kind of the normal refresh, get that stuff done, get it crafted, be one last full day chance at getting these big boy cards. Uh, the 85 plus player pick today will be the last day for that, but we'll still have one more day at 85.5. Thank you very much, EA. We love that until Saturday. So definitely watch out for Mascherano and that last craft today. Marquee matchups should be dropping today as well as our rivals rewards and your boy needs to go get one more win in rivals. I'm on the cusp of elite. I don't know if I'm going to actually get into elite, but I'll take division one rewards, maybe elite next week um, to finish off the season before we get reset back. But make sure you get those rewards because there's XP inside of there as well. And that could bring another opportunity to pack some of these greats of the game icons. So that is kind of the outlook for this game, guys, right now. We're looking forward to tomorrow on Friday just to see what EA do with these uh, special items or the Path to Glory cards team two that is coming out. And we'll see if we get any more news and info about that today. Best of luck chasing these cards one last day today on Thursday. Also, if you're in the USA, happy 4th, happy July 4th, Independence Day. It is a holiday today. Um, stream for today is up in the air. We'll see. Have to decide on that one. I'll let you guys know on Twitter. But if you enjoyed this video today, drop a thumbs up on it. Comment down below if you have any questions. And subscribe if you're new. Hopefully these PTG2 cards are just as packable as Team 1. Because it would be nice to have another week of a promo team that is pretty packable compared to most, even if some of the cards are fodder. Again, guys, I will catch you guys in another video tomorrow at the very least. It's been Nathan with Account. See you there. Peace out.